hi um, in this short video I'll show you how to um, fix the SSL permission error which a lot of ELC and race scholars are facing so uh, there's a fix out there but a lot of scholars don't really know how to add this to their code so basically this video is about how you can use this fix and fix the SSL error which you are getting from loading the Andela website. So first of all, I presume this is how everyone's code looks like. This is a basic implementation of a web view. Um, in this code, we are using our default web view client but in in order to apply this fix we have to use our our custom web view client so i will do this by deleting this and declaring my own client So in order to create this class, we'll just alt enter, then we'll create an inner class. So it has created an inner class for us, which extends web view client. So in order to now apply the fix, we have to overwrite the default on SSL method. So just type on receive okay usually you probably see it as one of one of the first options but this is it the first one here so you can click on it to get it then we now go to the fix which has been provided on stack overflow and just copy the code so when you do this copy you probably get a bunch of errors but I'll show you how you can resolve them so click on the alert dialog alt enter and import the appropriate library if you're using Android support library you should import the alert dialog Android support library if you're using Android X you do otherwise now our handler has also has an error so we need to declare it as final so over here just like final then that's also gone now our alert dialog builder extends to a context so in this case since we are doing this in our main activity i'll type here main activity dot this then that's also fixed now this string here the notification error is also get invalid in order to create this resource string resource again alt enter then the first option create string resource so we can type in something like SSL error give permission then this will create in our resource in our uh, string resource folder to create this over there so in order to run this we need to add some few things to the Android manifest For example we have to we have to give the internet permission and also we have to 
enable clear text traffic. This has been disabled starting from Android 23 and above. So in order for your code to work on, on those devices, you need to enable it. So we will do Android uses clear text traffic, then so true. So basically, that, that's it. You may also get this warning message, but uh, it's just telling you that your your minimum API version is not equal to 23, but it work anyway. So we can now run our code. So here is it. SSL give give permission. So we click continue. Then the page loads. But it is a good practice to actually add a progress dialog to indicate to the user that there's there's a, a process the I think my internet. Yeah. I'm experiencing some bad networks here, but usually, I think everyone else on load, and usually you need to add progress dialog to it to indicate to the user that the page is loading. is is a form of um, good practice and. Which which you have to you have to you have to always use in order to inform the user that an action is being performed and also give the user a feedback on the action whether it's successful or there's a failure. So it's, it's connected again. So let's try it again. Yeah, and above. Now the site is up, so as you can see, now your site is loading. So basically, this is this is just a simple fix. Um, the source code will be made available for those who want to go through it. And, and copy copy the my client web view method thank you